Well, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf delivers his first budget address today, outlining a nearly $30 billion spending plan that includes tax increases to support public education and cuts to property taxes. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Quinones is in Harrisburg. The governor is entering the hall of the house. Facing a $2.3 billion budget deficit, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf is seeking property tax cuts of up to 50%. Overall, my budget will reduce average homeowners' property taxes by 50%, putting more than $1,000 each year into their pockets. Another big ticket item in his $34 billion budget, schools. By adding a 5% gas drilling tax, Wolf says a billion dollars will be generated annually that will go directly to schools to restore previous budget cuts. That money would be spent through a new funding formula being worked on. The gap in spending between rich districts and poor districts has, as a result, exploded. Wolf's budget also calls for increasing the personal income tax from 3.07 to 3.7 percent, the sales tax from 6 to 6.6 percent, increasing the state minimum wage to $10.10 an hour, and putting a freeze on state college tuitions. But getting his budget through the Republican-controlled legislature will be a tough fight. Republican leaders are calling this a bad plan, a mirage even, that increases spending by 16 percent. It's a $4.5 billion tax increase this year and $12 billion over the next two years. We're not, we don't have the votes for that. Republicans also want to hear more on pension reforms. We need to address pensions. That is the number one cost driver. And I did not hear anything from the governor on pensions today. And coming up tonight at 6, I spoke with Mayor Michael Nutter about what this budget means for Philadelphians. We'll take a close look on how it could possibly decrease the city wage tax while also increasing funding for city schools. In Harrisburg, Todd Quinones, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.